What if the most powerful telescope in human history has just revealed something we were never meant to witness? What if everything we've ever believed about the birth of the universe, the nature of time, the fabric of space, and the very definition of reality is now crumbling under the weight of a single, shattering discovery? The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced eye into the cosmos, was built to peer into the faintest, oldest light in existence, the afterglow of creation itself. But now, it has delivered data so unsettling that a Nobel Prize winning physicist has broken years of silence with a single, chilling statement. This is not our universe. What could possibly force a scientist of that stature to say something so unthinkable? What exactly did Webb see at the very edge of everything? And why are some of the world's leading cosmologists warning that this discovery could rewrite or even erase the very foundations of modern science? Stay with me, because what you're about to hear changes everything. In a quiet, unremarkable corner of the sky, bathed in the dim glow of ancient starlight, Webb's instruments captured what looked like nothing more than a faint yellow smudge. At first glance, it was just another distant galaxy, but when astronomers zoomed in, their assumptions collapsed. That tiny glowing blot wasn't just far away, it was the most distant galaxy ever observed, its light having traveled for over 13.4 billion years. Formed just 290 million years after the supposed birth of the universe, it should have been small, dim, and primitive. Instead, it was impossibly massive, dazzlingly bright, and shockingly evolved. By every current model of cosmology, there simply wasn't enough time, matter, or energy in the early universe to form something like this. And yet, there it was. And it wasn't alone. Webb has now found dozens of these cosmic anomalies, each one a paradox, each one breaking the rules we thought were unbreakable. The deeper scientists looked, the stranger it became. Some of these early universe objects weren't just massive, they were alien in every sense of the word. In normal galaxies, only 10% of available gas turns into stars. The rest remains as dust and gas, fueling slow, steady growth. But Webb has found at least three galaxies that have converted 100% of their matter into stars. No gas, no dust, just pure, blinding starlight. This isn't just unusual. It's impossible according to every known model of galaxy formation, which has led to a far more disturbing question. What if these aren't galaxies at all? What if we're not looking at the early universe, but it's something else entirely? A structure from another dimension, a remnant of a previous cosmos, or perhaps an intrusion from a universe that is not our own. To understand why this is shaking cosmology to its core, we need to talk about the Hubble Sphere, the invisible boundary of our observable universe. The farther away an object is, the faster it moves away from us due to the expansion of space. At a certain distance, galaxies recede faster than the speed of light. Common sense says we should never see them, and yet we do. That's because space itself is stretching, and the boundary of what we can see keeps expanding. But beyond that boundary lies a region we can never reach, and that can never reach us. Or so we thought. Because Webb is now detecting light and signals from beyond that impossible horizon, light that by every law of physics should never have reached us, which leaves only one conclusion. We are seeing beyond the edge of our universe, 
and no one knows what lies on the other side. Webb's data is forcing scientists to ask the unthinkable. What if the universe never had a beginning? Some Nobel laureates are now openly questioning the Big Bang itself, because if galaxies can form faster than physics allows, if light can cross cosmic boundaries, and if structures exist that defy time, scale, and mass, then maybe we've misunderstood everything. Maybe the early universe isn't early at all. Maybe what we're seeing is not a timeline, but a fracture, a place where two universes overlap, or worse, a place where something far older than our universe is bleeding through. Whatever it is, it doesn't fit into our models, and it never will. Among Webb's most overlooked and most unsettling discoveries is not an image, but a sound. While measuring the faint background noise of the cosmos, Webb's instruments detected a rhythmic oscillation, a pulse that does not match any known cosmic phenomenon. It's not a pulsar. It's not gravitational waves. It's not a distortion in the cosmic microwave background. This frequency repeats at precise intervals, as if it were generated. Some astrophysicists have begun to call it the heartbeat beyond time. Others are more cautious, suggesting it could be the signature of exotic matter, something that can only exist outside the boundaries of our universe. And here's the part that sends chills down the spine. This frequency is not random. It follows a mathematical pattern, a sequence so precise it feels intentional, as is something or someone encoded it to be found. If that's true, then the James Webb Space Telescope hasn't just shown us the past. It may have shown us a message. From where or from when that message comes is a question no one is ready to answer. One of the James Webb Space Telescope's most unsettling revelations is a vast imbalance between what we can see and what we can feel. At the farthest reaches of the cosmos, galaxies appear to possess immense gravitational power, enough to bend light, warp space, and tug on surrounding structures. Yet when Webb peers into them, there is nothing. No visible stars, no glowing gas, no dust. This isn't dark matter as we know it. It's something else. Some researchers now believe Webb is detecting massive gravitational anomalies that have no known source. These invisible forces act like phantom fingerprints, pressing down on the fabric of space-time from somewhere beyond our perception. But where are they coming from? A growing number of theorists are daring to suggest the unthinkable. We are seeing the shadow of another universe colliding with our own. What if everything we see, every star, every planet, every galaxy, has a mirror image we cannot see? Not as a poetic metaphor, but as a literal physical truth. For decades, the idea of a mirrored universe was dismissed as fringe speculation, a place where time flows in the opposite direction, where the laws of physics run backward relative to ours. But now, the James Webb Space Telescope has captured evidence that is forcing scientists to reconsider. In the faint light of distant galaxies, Webb has detected subtle asymmetries, particle behaviors and rotational patterns that don't match our known physics. It's as if two different cosmic systems are overlapping in the same space. Imagine our universe being pulled in one direction, while another, just out of reach, moves in reverse. If this is true, then we may not simply be part of a multiverse. We may be entangled with a shadow reality, 
a cosmic reflection that mirrors our existence, yet runs counter to it in every way. And then came the final twist. One of Webb's long-range instruments was tracking a faint light signature from the very edge of the observable universe. It was expected to fade into nothingness, as most ancient light eventually does. But instead, it came back. Not from the same direction, not from the same time, but with the exact same spectral fingerprint, as if the light had been sent out and then bounced back from something. Webb had just observed a cosmic echo. But an echo of what? There are only two possibilities. The first, the light circled back around the curvature of the universe, implying that space is finite and closed, a cosmic loop. The second, it struck something at the very edge, something capable of reflecting light, something that should not exist. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to peer into the past to reveal the moment of creation, but instead it has done something far more terrifying. It has shown us that our universe may not be alone. The impossible galaxies, the phantom masses, the mirrored patterns, the heartbeat beyond time, the cosmic echo. Each discovery chips away at the comforting illusion that we understand where we are, when we are, and what we are. A Nobel Prize winning physicist warned us, this is not our universe. And maybe that's the truth we were never meant to face. Maybe we are drifting on the edge of something ancient, massive, and indifferent. A deeper structure, a larger reality, a universe behind the universe. So now the real question is no longer whether we are alone in the cosmos. It's whether we are even in the right one. If Webb's discoveries are real, then the heartbeat beyond time from part one may not just be a random cosmic rhythm, it could be the signal of that shadow universe pulsing through the fractures of reality, reaching us in echoes of light and gravity. And if that's true, then whatever is out there has already noticed us. Do you believe the James Webb Space Telescope has pierced the veil into another universe, or are we only beginning to glimpse the cracks in our own reality? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every single one. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications, because the cosmos just blinked back, and the next pulse 